Ultra Master Lee. And Lulu. Or how about some classic Iron Maiden? Yeah. Wasted Years from the 80s, which I think, at least for me, that was prime Iron Maiden. Not that I was an Iron Maiden fan back then because I wasn't cool enough, but this is when I <laughs> lusted after all the hot girls in my junior high wearing the Iron Maiden and rocker t-shirts. Were I'm they? Like, oh, I wish I was that cool. So that's when I knew Iron Maiden was cool too. Oh, the girls. I had a couple of girl crushes back then. I don't know if I should say their names. I feel like if I did, it would be creepy, you know, because yeah. they're still around today. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, that was like, like 40 years ago. So is it really, it's child crushes. Is it really creepy? Yeah, if they saw you right now and mentioning their you name. You know what they're going to say? Like, oh, I missed out on that, John. <laughs> Look at what I missed out on. Mm. Okay. Wasted. That's right. I wasted all my years when I could have been with John Lee. You still I wasted a lot of years dreaming <laughs> about that. <laughs> all right, man. Let's check this out. By the way, this is crazy, man. This was from their sixth album. Guess how many albums they've had out now? Twelve. Seven. 17. Whoa. <laughs> 70 freaking, 17. These guys are prolific. Non-stop. I can't even imagine doing 17 of anything. Imagine 17 girlfriends or seven. I, I'm so stuck on that. 17 <laughs> years of doing, how about reactions? Can you imagine that? You know, I think by then we might be done through the entire music catalog. Maybe. Nothing left. <laughs> We've gone through all the Iron Maiden songs, all metal songs from the songs 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. By then, I think people would be sick of us too. So, But no one's sick of Iron Maiden right? if they put out 17 albums. So, No one's sick listening to music though. No one's going to get sick of that. They're probably going to sick of us. Hope not. Let's check it out. By the way, you want to see me get wicked wild in Vegas? Go check out my channel. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. Oh, no one's sick of that one yet. <laughs> Oh man, such an 80s vibe.
Uh, I think this is my favorite one. It's very poppy, actually. Mm -hmm. It feels like something you would hear on MTV rotation. Yeah. It's probably their most melodic tune I think we've it's heard. It's easier from to listen to and something that it's like, so it's me i don't know <laughs> it's also very nostalgic i think like every time we yes. see images of like the band from yesteryear of their what life was like behind the scenes All their and experiences. you know their experiences it just i don't know it does something to a song that makes you feel nostalgic along mm. with it although i feel like maybe the music video was made mm. later and then they went back and found all that footage of them. If you think about it, right, we're looking back and they're singing about this and it's almost like a time machine looking mm -hmm. back. So it feels like, yeah, you know what? Don't think about all that stuff. You know, don't be young for the old days. Like those are wasted years. Like they had like the best time in the 80s. You could just tell they yeah. were on top of the freaking world. So I'm like, all right, well, did they already have all the images picked out and they were just living the moment? It or is it be. a throwback where like, I don't know, it feels like a yearbook to me mm. that could maybe this was pro, you know, produced years later so no i mean the music video was actually produced you know in the same year same 1986 year? yeah so they just picked out footage for the performances on the somewhere on tour oh tour and Traveling it was just tour. there you know look back in the last year but it feels to us because it's just a weird sensation like we're looking back with them into several decades back a recap a recap of how awesome we are in this generation they do like a photo dump is that what they do now yeah. What, what do kids do today? I don't even know. That's what they do. Like, I saw, like, photo dump. It's, like, a recent, maybe last week event that you did or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but most people take a bunch of pictures, their phone fills up, they download it or they lose their phone, right? And then they never go back and see it again. So there's, like, no nostalgia. There's not, like, I don't know, back in the old days, people used to clip stuff out every year, right? And they would have, like, the year in life type of thing. And mm -hmm. you would look back on that. You have your scrapbook. You have have books where you actually had to like take pictures and put them in i still even have some of them mm. but today like everything's digital so yeah. i don't think we ever go back and look at pictures of what we do something's lost in that you don't you do well, there's just probably so many and then we work in social media so we're like probably tired i'm sick of seeing myself to exactly that's i don't care what i look like five years ago you know what i look like five years ago <laughs> I looked like this five years ago. <laughs> there wasn't any hair either. Ten years ago, fifteen years ago, I looked exactly no, the same. But you were I'm Asian younger too, though. So I, yeah. You look so much younger and skinnier, maybe. Well, so did you That's then. Shaming. <laughs> we're so Asian. 